If you're getting iron staining at your home cottage or cabin, you're looking for a solution. I mean, you're tired of cleaning up those uh, toilets with those rusty stains, the staining in your grout, uh, all around your fixtures. There's got to be a fix for it. You've heard of an FOB. What's FOB even mean? Does it work? Is it chemical free? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So an FOB is an iron filter. It's a totally chemical free type system. There's no filter cartridges to change. It just totally works off air. How can it possibly do that? Well, air is used to oxidize the iron out of your water. And you can see that process taking place in your home right now. You probably notice that once you flush the toilet, you clean the toilet, it's nice and there's the water comes in, there's no color to it, there's no rust stains, that's fine. And then you go away for a couple days or a week if it's a cottage or a cabin and you come back and you see it's all rusty inside. How did that happen? Well, what's happened is the air is oxidizing the iron out of the water. So what we want to do is we want to oxidize the iron out of the water but inside this tank and get rid of that iron before it enters your home cottage or cabin. And uh, that's, so how does it do that? Well, basically how it works is this, is inside this tank, the top, oh, I don't know, top third of this tank or so is an air bubble, a giant air bubble. And, uh, and whenever you run your water, your water is sprayed through that air bubble. And what that does, it oxidizes or brings out the iron, just like in your toilet, brings it out of, out of solution, out of the water, and then the water passes down through the tank. About the bottom third of the tank is a media, and that media is called berm. That's actually what the B part of the FOB means. It stands for berm. And uh, so what it does, it, it attracts that oxidized iron in the water, and, uh, and it, it attaches to it. And so then the water keeps on going down, but now the iron's been pulled out of the water. As the water gets down to the bottom of the tank, it enters into this filter here, or this screen. So it's installed this way. So you can see the water uh, passes down through the media and then goes inside the filter here and then goes up through the middle and then it goes on to your whole house. So after three days of the water running through that cycle, whenever you run your water, it accumulates inside the tank. Well, obviously we have to get rid of it. So after three days, it has to backwash to remove that. And how it works is it reverses the flow. So now water comes in here and it goes down through this tube gets down to the screen, comes out through the screen, goes up the tank, and it actually expands the media. It lifts the media off the bottom of the tank and expands the media to the whole size of the tank. So it actually pushes out that air bubble out through the top, pushes it out through the drain, and so as it's backwashing all that media and flushes all the debris to, to the drain. One, about 15 minutes or so it takes for it to do that, and then it starts sucking in air. So it actually sucks in air through here. So it's a little difficult to see on the unit, but this is what it looks like. It's a one-way valve with a screen on it. So it sucks the air in through here and, uh, and recreates that air bubble. How it creates that suction is through this air injector or this little venturi. And, uh, as water, and, and you'll hear uh, when it's going through its cycle, its air draw cycle, or it'll say on here brine cycle, but it's an air draw cycle. You can hear gurgling coming from here, but you can also hear water running very slowly. And that's what's creating that suction to, to bring the air in through here. So it rebuilds that air bubble, and then it puts it back into service. So normally it does that in the middle of the night. We want it to do that at some time when there's very little or no water usage in the house. And like I say, it takes about 45 minutes for it to go through that whole cycle. Once it's gone through that cycle, it's all set to go for another three days. So one question you may have is, uh, will an FOB also remove sulfur from your water if you have both iron and sulfur? It will, but it's only really set up for a very small amount of, of sulfur removal. So if you've got, I mean, this will do four parts per million of iron removal, no problem. And if you've got a little bit of sulfur, you get a little bit of smell occasionally, it'll do that too. If you've got higher amounts of sulfur in addition to the higher amounts of um, iron in your water, then you're probably going to be a better suited to an FOK instead of an FOB. Also, you need to watch the pH. So the pH has to be uh, 6.8 or higher for this system to work properly. So for some more information about air over media, iron and sulfur filters, in other words, uh, how to install, how to maintain, how to winterize, just go over here to my next video and I'll see you there.